Uh, well, last up, we've got It's Barely News, a collection of items that are not really just barely newsworthy and that we're just going to tell you about and go, huh, and react to, and then we'll just move right on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And the uh, first one up, if you click the second link there, the video, uh, we'll just get okay. right into it because it is just barely news. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, just that second, the second link there. Mm -hmm. Um mm -hmm. So there is a team who has broken four Guinness World Records at once uh, for drones uh, light shows. And uh, they have got 5,200 drones, or just under 5,200 drones, flying at once. And they broke the record for the largest number of drones flying simultaneously. The largest Shit. light image, the largest light image comprised. Shut up. They're just making a flying screen. A flying screen, exactly. Uh, oh the longest God. animation show performed. They did a 26-minute animation show, and the largest number, 88 varied consecutive formations by a single fleet. They did them all for Guinness World Records and broke uh, four records at once. I can't believe that now what we've got is we've got so many drones in the air that we just use each drone as a pixel, and then we yeah. just make a screen. That's where we're at. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's so cool. You know, screw flying cars. I'm just glad we have drone light shows. Absolutely. Right? Very All cool. Right. All right. right. Well, there's a link to that cooler. whole video down in the video description if you want to check it out. Uh, next up. Next up, we wanted to tell you about an aerial drone competition. Uh, this is called Blackout, and it's uh, basically a student drone competition where you can compete to program drones with AI and then push these little balls around the court and fly through these hoops in a uh, sort of like a competition. That's what the Blackout is referring to. Um, and yeah, you basically set it and forget it, and you they do like little 60-second runs, and all the drones can compete against each other, but it's with pre-programmed AI uh, algorithm stuff. So a wow. uh, way for students to compete, and uh, I think they offer some scholarships through this program. So pretty cool. Yes, that's pretty cool. Uh, next up, food delivery by drone. What could go wrong? Well, this. Well, thousands of people could lose power. Uh, that's the story that we're showing you today. <laughs> <laughs> when a wing food drone, delivery drone has crashed in, on power lines in Australia. And so, um, yeah, unfortunately, 2,000 customers uh, lost power for about 45 minutes and another 300 were out for about three hours while they got the grid going back uh, as it expected. The drone was toasted basically on impact or just after and cooked itself off the lines. Um, <laughs> they did report. The, the meal was yeah. still hot inside the drone's delivery box. Yeah, I'll bet it was. That's yeah, I would guess it might have been overcooked, a little overdone. <laughs> we don't have any video of the actual incident, do we? I'm looking through this story. It's no, just like no actual, stock photography. No incident video. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, okay. Well, I'm sure there's going to be more of that going on. So, yeah. Um, meanwhile, the person is there like, where's my freaking delivery? I ordered yeah. some freaking tacos. And why don't I have power? <laughs> and why don't I have power? Well, the power's <laughs> out, but at least tacos are coming. Yeah. Man, wah, I got kind of power wah, to make food. Wah, wah. <laughs> 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 okay. Oh. Uh, so now we're going to... Uh, next up, we're going to solve the problem with, with bees. And we're going to solve them with drones. Yeah, this is a little weird to me. I'm not sure I totally think this is going to work. This doesn't seem like the most efficient way to do this at all to me. But um, <laughs> they want to use uh, drones like bees. Uh, to, to, and they think that they can basically use the propellers to help spread pollen between flowers. That's the idea. Okay. Like the drafts from, from the drones. Because well, you're not allowed to use bees indoors, you know, and there's like all these, these issues and and stuff so they want to use drones instead to but, me if you're going to put drones up you could just there's plenty of other things you could do to distribute pollen there yeah not drones. i mean correct me if i'm correct me if i'm wrong blunty you know a, a few things about growing some plants i don't know how many plants you know about growing there are yeah. plants that are are wind pollinated like corn for example corn is yeah. wind pollinated you have to it, it blows the pollen from one to the other 
So I could imagine that a drone blowing the pollen would help in a case of a plant like that. But aren't there other plants that essentially require sort of manual pollination? Something has to, like a bee? To get a, to get a proper success rate, yeah. Because the I think like the location of the what, stamen or whatever, mm. where, where you get yeah. the pollen to, um, is more difficult with some species and stuff. So, hmm. Well, <laughs> Jake H. asks, does Blunty grow his own weed? Not anymore. Not used anymore. To. You used to be a professional, a professional weed blower. Yes. Ran a grow. Yeah. Not anymore that anyone knows of. No, cannabis doesn't have that problem. He can, he can sneeze in a general direction and pollinate half a room. So cannabis is pretty slutty. That's what you're saying. It's the worst. It's the worst. Yeah. Why is it the worst? You could think cause you don't want it, seeds are the bad. We don't like seeds. Oh, you don't want pollination. Correct. Right. Yeah. You want sterile a big part plants. Of the goal is, you, yeah, that's why we like clone and we only have females and you have to call males if you do seeds and yeah, it's a whole thing. Oh man. Interesting. Oh, it's a regulatory legal thing. If you have seeds. Yes. You is also that, have oh. to like categorize them all and they have to be licensed and oh, you have wow. to pay for, pay for planting them and like all the whole thing. Yeah. So how do you prevent the pollination from you happening? You don't, it's all sham. Like most of the industry, it's all fake. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You weren't supposed to say that part out loud. <laughs> hey, life happens. All right. All right. Life. Uh, so. like Jeff Goldblum says life uh, finds a way. Okay. Yeah. All right. I grew <laughs> tomatoes. I literally tomatoes, not, not the euphemistic tomatoes. That's actually marijuana, but I grew tomatoes and, and uh, cherry tomatoes are like that. So if you have like some beautiful Roma tomatoes, some big beefsteak tomatoes and some cherry tomatoes, they'll all cross pollinate. And next year, all of them will be cherry tomatoes. Like the cherry tomatoes are so slutty and dominant and it's like, yeah. it's the worst. Cause like, I mean, cherry tomatoes are fine, but that's not all I want. Yeah. We had this problem in cannabis where they, uh, hermaphrodite. So like, if you get too much stress, they'll just push their own, they'll produce their own <laughs> pollen, even if they're a female. So if you're not growing well or you have issues or like, uh, you have some outbreak in a corner or there's just a stunted plant and you don't pull it on the right time overnight. It just like blows pollen over half your room. And then you, yeah, it's not good. Good mm. times. That's a really fascinating, that's fascinating. That's really fascinating. Uh, you yeah. see the kind of things you learn on the FPV news. Very true. Um, all right. Well, we're going to use drones to pollinate things now. Sure. Let's just solve all of our problems about with nature by adding more technology to it. That's the answer, isn't it? Yes, yep. that's, that's the answer. That's the way. Let's not protect the bees, or I don't know, make five percent less money this year. Let's just add. You know, the drones are a sham too. This is just another company that has some idea that they're trying to get investment or get a grant. It's all a lie. The only well, thing I believe also, in. What? I was. That's also probably very true. They're probably yeah. trying to get some kind of grant and investment. Yeah. The only thing I believe in is that light show. That's the only place in my life where I feel that technology is actually, I want to add more technology to it. Good. It does what it says it'll do. <laughs> like you get a drone light show and they go up there and they make cool things in the sky and it works, you know? Yep. So. Yep. All right. Good. We got one All more. Right. It's barely news. What do we got, Blunty? Yeah, we've got a uh, story from ABC. Uh, new. Oh man, I messed up that. Okay. So... Uh, yeah, so Hamilton County sheriffs in Cincinnati have decided to can their helicopters. We talked about helicopter costs earlier. Um, they are claiming helicopters cost them $3 million a year to operate, and they've got two. So they're selling them, and they are instead buying a fleet of drones, and they're going to use drones for the things they're using helicopters for in most cases. So they're going to use them for search and rescue and location and uh, yeah, reconnaissance and like all kinds of different things that uh, they were spending money on helicopters to do. This is interesting, and I definitely agree that there's lots of applications where a helicopter, uh, where a drone makes more sense than a helicopter. Uh, for example, in search and rescue, uh, you, you could relatively easily get someone out there with a ground vehicle, then put a drone in the air and fly a, you know, whatever, a 10 kilometer grid, you know, uh, and, and it maybe there's what it would be a little bit faster with a helicopter, but maybe you could put 10 drones in the air at the same time and search faster. But yes. like, how are you going to chase somebody who's doing a car chase with a drone? The drones, they don't have the speed and they don't have the range. And I feel like if we had really done this, we like, we wouldn't have all these amazing car chase videos 
And I just think that's so, a loss for um, so America. They, they actually quote the first arrest they made with the drone. Um, they could not find a suspect that they lost after a chase, and they sent a drone up six stories and found the suspect uh, on a rooftop. So hmm. they talk about like how in a lot of cases, maybe, I don't know, it might just be, uh, there might be a lot of cases where they can find people yeah. that you might not expect. So it'll be interesting to see what they do and how they uh, how they handle it and what, what happens. But they're interested in saving a bunch of money and hopefully achieving a lot of what they were before. Nice. Well, uh, yeah. yeah, good. Maybe maybe just fewer car chases. Maybe Maybe car chases in general aren't a good idea. I don't know.